I am happy to tell you all here today that as of yesterday afternoon, Trinidad and Tobago has received a specific license from OFAC, the second one that we've received for Trinidad and Tobago through BP and NGC to work in Venezuela for the Coquina mannequin field. So this is now the second specific license that Trinidad and Tobago managed to obtain when all other general licenses were being closed and you heard in the CLC, we will get nowhere. Trinidad and Tobago has received a specific license from the United States government, OFAC, for the pursuit of exploration production and export of gas from the Coquina Mannequin field to Trinidad and Tobago. And we remains the same term, similar to Dragon, that we can pay in fiat currency, in US currency, etc. In other words, they have given us a go-ahead. Importantly, the license is a two-year license that expires on the 31st of May, 2026. So to all of those who have tried to sell a narrative, those in the opposition and elsewhere who have no knowledge and may either be misled or trying to mislead the population, who said, well, Dragon will expire in 2025, they're not gonna be able to do anything. Coquina Mannequin's license is expiring on the 31st of May, 2026. This is a clear indication of a number of things that I'd like to draw to your attention. One, the competence of the government in the field of diplomacy has worked. Our ability to stay engaged with those decision makers in the White House and elsewhere in the United States government, as well as Mira Flores, will now allow us to pursue and to conclude our second deal, which is Coquina Mannequin, when things may be shut in other areas. Add that to what you've seen happen with Dragon. This is another good day for us here in Trinidad and Tobago. The second indication is by them allowing the license for another just over two year period expiring on the 31st of May 2026. It is a clear indication by those decision makers that they've given us the maximum length with a second license. And they understand, I can tell you, I was in Sarah Week in Houston earlier this year, I believe it was in March, and during that, and that is another reason why we travel, I was able to engage with those from the United States State Department, tell them of our plans, as well as some of the advisors to the decision makers in the White House. So people of Trinidad and Tobago, the third point is, these are the benefits and the direct tangible returns that you, the citizens of Trinidad and Tobago, do get from these trips and these travels. We are always out there working and certainly bringing home the results of that hard work. There is no other country in the world, there are no other companies apart from Chevron who have gotten these types of specific licenses to do what we have done. You now marry that with what I said at the outset with how much reserves we have in Trinidad and Tobago. We are now found ourselves with another opportunity with more eggs in another basket for the people of Trinidad and Tobago.